Well, hello again, everybody. Just a few random thoughts for today. Let's start off with one of our anagram puzzles. The Morse code. What can you spell that's relevant to the Morse code by rearranging those letters? Now, let's imagine you have, let's say, I don't know, 19 stacks of about 37 books. First of all, how many books would you have? Well, let's see, 20 times 37 is 740. So you take away 137, that'd be 703. But what if you had instead the opposite, 37 stacks of 19 books? Just think about the stacks. Would that be the same number of books? You wouldn't think so. But actually, of course, it is because of the commutative property of math. 19 times 37 equals 37 times 19. We know it's true, but when you think about books or objects, it doesn't uh, seem that obvious, does it? Okay, palindromes. My, one of my favorite, if not my all-time favorite, math palindrome is never odd or even. I suppose it should be nor, but then you don't get the palindrome. Never, odd, or even. Isn't that neat? So what would be never, odd, or even? I don't know, would that be the number zero? What about some other mathematical palindromes? Let's say you have, okay, kind of obvious, the number one and 11. What about 11 squared? Sure enough, that's 121, still a palindrome. 11 cubed, indeed, 1331. By the way, how can you get that really easily? Well, just take 121 and add 10 times it to get 11 times it. And there you go, 1331. How about 11 to the 4? Well, you can use that trick, or you come up with 14641. How about 11 to the 5? Well, let's try the trick. It's going to be a palindrome, right? Well, let's see. 1, 5, 10, carry 1, 1. Whoa. Hmm. It's not a palindrome. Something breaks down here because we have to carry. But uh, what if we use different symbols for 10. If I use, let's say, the symbol A for 10, like in the hexadecimal system, I don't have to carry. So I get another 10, and sure enough, four plus, one plus four is five, and that one there. So we can make this a palindromic number if we use hexadecimal. So give that some thought. Now back to our original question, the Morse code. After giving it some thought, you can always pause it and do that, but otherwise you get here come dots. Isn't that cute? Let's see if you can come up with some other palindromes. All right, got to go do an ESL lesson online, so I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.